It's a story that I think we all relate to in that it's about fantasy and being a kid and imagining, you know, long lost kingdoms and handsome princes and battles. And in some cases, we actually really do what Tchaikovsky had intended and we follow some of the plot lines of the original story. But obviously, our concept is a little bit different. So there are moments that kind of veer away from those original intentions. What would it be to set the Nutcracker during the winter before the opening of the World's Fair. The young girl, Marie, it's really her journey and her story, but also it is about a single parent with two children, immigrant, working class, bringing everyone that they know together to celebrate the holidays and having the empresario of the World's Fair come and visit them to say thank you for all the work they're doing, to wish them a very happy holidays. We wanted to try to put together a more socially conscious production that perhaps was more about family and about an underprivileged child not just looking for delicious treats, but actually searching for a part of her that's missing. And in this case, it's a complete family. Nine and one, two, three, good. You can feel in the rehearsals that the nature of what Chris has created has made the company that family. When you work with people like Brian Selznick and Julian Crouch and Natasha Katz and Ben Piercy, and Christopher Wilden and Basil Twist. They understand how to take us, the audience, to a totally different environment. It's really an all-encompassing theatrical experience that goes beyond just the tutus and the fairies and actually pulls the audience in through you know, various different types of stagecraft, as Nutcracker should be, you know, a, a complete and, and total fantasy.